So in this video here we're going to compare two angle grinder. So we're going to compare the angle grinder from Yobi which is the 18 volt one and then we're going to compare it against the Milwaukee fuel. So both uh, both the grind uh, both angle grinder are brushless. The uh, model number for the Milwaukee here is the 2780 -2. Two zero, and then for the Wyobia one model number PBLAG01. So both of those die grinders are about the same size. Uh, the Milwaukee one is actually you have the battery and an angle, so you cannot just leave it on the bench like this. It's gonna fall. So, and an angle, it's about the same height than the, uh, the Huayobi one. But uh, if you put it straight, then it is way taller. Now, both head are similar in size. Now, the Milwaukee one only have uh, two sides that you can actually screw in the handle, while the Huayobi one have three side that you can screw in the handle both of them have the button here to lock up the wheel in order to change the blade or the cutting wheel now the neat thing about the yob1 it's you have that uh, quick quick wheel connect so you don't need a tool to change this one but it comes with the one that you uh, comes with a one similar than this so if you rather have that on there you can also use it so the milwaukee one is actually a on and off like black and white paddle switch so as soon as you press it it gives you full power you cannot control the speed with this one The YOB1 is exactly the same, a paddle is black and white, so on and off, you cannot control the speed, it's full power as well. The Milwaukee tool have vent at the top here on the head, and also vent at the bottom of the handle here, to let your tool breathe so it doesn't get too warm in here. Um, YOB1 have the vent at the top of the head as well and uh, not at the bottom but actually into the middle of the handle here just above your end now did I just hear you say like who cares about all this we want to know how it cuts well I got a rod right here so let's do that now if you're a transport truck mechanic you might recognize this here this is from a push rod for your brake system. So this is what we're going to cut today. So the first cut that we're going to do today is actually with the YOB1. And this is a 4 amp power battery. It is fully charged. A second cut. Now for the Milwaukee, I took the same blade that we had on the YOB1, so there's no difference here and I actually stole the quick connect for this and uh, the battery here is fully charged so you can see and this is a 9 amp hour battery so that should give us way more torque uh, I don't have a 9 amp hour battery for the YOB1 so this is what we have to go with now I'm not able to steal the handle from the YOB1 because uh, the handle size are different 
All right, we'll do two cut with this tool too. So first cut. We'll do a second cut. Tool bogged out for a second here. I don't know what happened. It's wrapping this video here. I don't know which one cut the fastest. I'll have to edit this and post it up here. Um, but both uh, angle grinder cut great. Uh, both of them feel about the same. Now, I don't know why this tool bogged out here. It might have been the battery. It might have been maybe I didn't have it super straight and then I bind the blade in there. Uh, anyway, we have two cuts so that we can still see the, the time that it takes to do those two cuts. So let me know in the comment below. Are you one of the YOB guy or a Milwaukee guy? Now, of course, I know it depends on your battery system, right? Because usually you'll invest more and to the tools that you already have lots of battery of. So I guess you can consider me the YOB guy. I'd like to say a big thanks to my friend Tristan from work for letting me borrow all of those tools in order to do some uh, quick review and comparison video for you. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more tools to come, a lot more tools to compare. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos.